Ooh, guess who learned how to do an intro? Kind of. It was me. I did it. So, the thing I wanted to talk about today was your setup, and that is something that I do know about. Um, this room here is like 20 something feet long. When I moved into this house, I kind of saw one side of this room and went, I could definitely turn that into a studio. So I did. But the one thing I had my mind on is the insane amount of echo that's in here. So I kind of took the 20 foot room and they left some lumber here in the back. So I kind of just plywood and stuff, made myself a little wall. And then, uh, I pretty much just put blankets everywhere to keep things from, well, sound from bouncing all over the place. And then, uh, you know, I've got this NTG4 mic and then a Scarlet Solo interface that it's plugged into and then that's wired into the computer. So, I got that as soon as I actually got it to where there was no echo coming in anymore. That microphone right there started hyper-focusing on everything else. So I had to refigure out how to edit my my audio so it didn't sound like I was speaking through a solo cup. So yeah, there's that. But yeah, between the blankets block and everything, I've got the windows blocked off. Usually this one's open just so I can get a little bit of light in here. But yeah, so I got all that. I got I put towels down. Um, on my desk because I realized, you know, once this started hyper-focusing, all that was just bouncing up into the microphone too. Um, had to get a new screen. <clears throat> so I've got my laptop that I can uh, edit on. And then while I'm reading scripts and stuff, I have this second screen, which is a really good idea to have because then you don't have to switch everything back and forth on your same monitor. But uh, yeah, so I did that. And what else did I do with this place? I got a comfy chair. I know that. That's, that's, that's a good change. What the hell else did I do? But yeah, basically trying to figure out what you can and want to do with your space. And, you know, depending on my, I mean, my situation is I finally bought a house, so I could put a wall in there, even though it's a temporary one, which is good for right now. Um... But some of this stuff is basic. I mean, when you're when you're um, renting, you can still do a lot of this stuff as long as you can cover up holes. I'm just using thumbtacks for most of this stuff back here. But uh, let's see. That's what most of these guys are going to talk about, and I, I think I think I'll bring that up. I know I remember bringing Anthony Peak up one of these times. He's uh, he does that VO Journey uh, YouTube channel, but a couple other guys that you might want to look into uh because some of some of these people you got to you got to watch when you're when you're looking through these YouTube channels who you're going to listen to because there's a lot of people that go on there and and you'll kind of see through looking looking at a lot of their other videos that they're just there to make money off of YouTube they have no idea what any of the the VO stuff is so they'll go on and they'll, they'll, you look through those videos, you'll see that they researched some stuff a little bit, you know, some websites or whatever. They'll watch some people's. And I'm back. And with headphones. So anyways, the people that I was talking about, uh, they research some of the stuff and you can kind of tell while you're watching their videos because they will have just wide open spaces, hardwood floors, all kinds of nothing's nothing's really covered up. So all you're hearing is echo in their microphone. So, you know, they don't know how to edit their their audio on top of it. So when they're saying how much success they're having, I earn fifteen hundred dollars a day or six thousand dollars a week or what, whatever crap they want to talk about. They're not being honest with you, you can just click right off of those guys and head to, I don't know. I mean, you're going to have to do some research to find some good people, but I'll give you a list. I got, uh, Bill DeWeese is pretty decent. Some people like him. Some people don't like him. Um, I already mentioned Anthony Pika, funny guy, Timmy, 
is another YouTube video you can or a uh, uh, channel that you can watch. There's uh, Crown Stage Voiceover. It's a Scottish voiceover artist, but he's got a lot of uh, good information too. And then Voiceover Angela is good, especially for ACX. If you guys are going to be doing ACX stuff and you want to learn a lot about that, she she can walk you through a lot of that uh, that stuff too. But so yeah, overall, these guys can help you out a little bit more also with what you can do with your setup to, you know, make things sound a little bit better. Is again, as as you go on, you'll 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 learn that any little change you make, even moving the microphone. I mean, when I do voiceovers, I have the microphone a little bit closer. That was not. So, the microphone's a little bit closer while I'm while I'm reading this and it again the solo cup thing. Any type of echo or any time you're far away from the microphone it'll it'll give you a lot different of a sound and it takes a lot longer to edit your stuff to make it sound good afterwards so i guess i'll kind of leave it at there and uh hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you if you did like subscribe notification bell all the good stuff and i will see you on the next one